Hello. So this video is about, as you've seen in the title, uh, the best pan au chocolat in the world, in my opinion. Quick disclaimer, I don't really have a sweet tooth, so I'm not the best judge of these sort of things. When I say I don't have a sweet tooth, I don't like cakes, I don't do milkshakes, I don't do all sorts of candy, I do simple chocolates. I do like, as I've grown older, I've, I like sweet things more than I did as a kid. As a kid, I was militant against them, but now I've gotten, you know, a bit more open to them. And one of the things I like is baked goods, I suppose you call them, you know, croissants, uh, pan au chocolats, or PACs, as I call them. Um, I like those quite a bit. Over the past couple of years, I have discovered a specific sort of pan au chocolat, and here in Dublin, and then also in a city that I like very much, Manchester. This is sort of like a vlog kind of thing about it. It's about three days we spent in Manchester, where, among other things, we had specifically gone for this pan of chocolate. All right, so let's get on to it. Day one. This is me at home, pacing at 3 a.m., waiting for our cab to go to the airport for our flight at 6.30. We're looking to get there three hours early because Dublin Airport had some wild cancellations a couple days before because so many people were out for COVID. Get to the airport at 3.30, it was, of course, empty. It was so empty and we got there so early that the airport wasn't even open. They had the shutters down on the stores and parts of the airport, like the way to the gate. And we're just waiting. We're waiting for like 20 minutes, maybe, until the shutters go up and we get through the airport. After another hour or so, we make our way to the plane. The flight's okay. We get to Manchester and they're checking passports. Got through the airport, got to the bus, got on the bus, got to our hotel, which is close to Wilmslow Road. Threw our bags in, got back on the bus, headed to the city center, got off at the city center. It's about 8.45 at this point. Made our way all the way up to the Ancoats area. Walked down this marina kind of thing where you can see all these houseboats all the way to our destination, which is Pollen Bakery. Pollen's a sourdough bakery, which means that they bake sourdough things. They are very popular and, you know, there's usually a line out the door before they open and most of their pastries and stuff they start selling out in like a couple hours things like the pan chocolate i love this pan chocolate i love firstly that it's really big it's enormous i don't know if that's the sourdough thing i don't know what the science is between regular and sourdough but it's huge it's huge it's firm holds its shape it's obviously crisp has all the layers it's not too sweet it has just the you get the taste of the butter the bread slight hint of the egg wash the chocolate is solid and just a solid bite and you know how i said i don't like sweet things really this is like maybe two steps away from being like a full-on savory pastry so yeah the rest of the day we spent i just had work to do we didn't do much i didn't record much uh, and then day two, we decided to take a break from Pollen Bakery. So we went about the city. We started off at Foundation Coffee, which is a solid coffee chain. You, you'll find them throughout Manchester. They have pretty decent coffee, lots and lots of options. I found a co-working space by the Colony, so I spent the day editing the podcast. This was, I think, our roundup episode on the Batman movies. Linked in the description if you want to check it out. Lunch was at this Jamaican place, also in the Ancoat area called Rad's. We got jerk chicken and we got steak with rice and everything. Huge portions, again, big food, but great flavor, really good value for money. It was like maybe seven pounds for like this huge, enormous portion. We also looked at some real estate prices, got depressed how much more affordable Manchester is than Dublin. After that, we just headed back to Wilmslow Road where we spend most of our time in Manchester and we got some chaat and we got some chai and ended the night with our cheese, which is always solid. But day three though, woke up early, checked out of the hotel, got on the bus to the city center, got to the Ancos Marina area and made it back to Pollen again. I mean, we had to, this was the day we were leaving, so we had to get it one more time uh, before we left. This time we got the breakfast sandwich as well. The hot sauce that it comes with is legit. Uh, but for me, the main attraction was still the PAC. After Bolin, we headed back to the city, did some light watch browsing, Grand Seiko's. We also hit Idle Hands later that day. It's a cafe. They specialize mainly in pies. We got some pies to take away. Manchester has great cafes. We headed back to Winslow Road. We'd taken a couple slices to have with Shisha and tea with our friend over there. After that, we just grabbed our stuff, headed back to the airport, made this time lapse. Uh, the airport was fine. They still have this weird thing, uh, this weird ad installation. The flight was also fine. It was just delayed by a full hour. So we just stood in line for over an hour, waiting for the plane which landed in front of us. <laughs> and then we got onto it. But yeah, that was that was it. That was Manchester. That was our trip. That was why we went. 
sourdough pan chocolates or croissants or anything just sourdough pastries i big big bites <laughs> yeah that's where it's at uh we then yeah we just sat home for a couple of days feeling sorry for ourselves that we couldn't go to pollen but you know not too bad because a couple of days later we just went to bread 41 which is a sourdough bakery in dublin and you know what i got that 